with this we come to the end of the chapter and let us take up the quiz now the percentage of population living the poverty line has been estimated as 22% of the population lives below poverty line dash are often used for measuring poverty in relative sense relative poverty is more prevalent in case of developed countries where we measure inequality of income which is done with the help of gini coefficient scheme for construction of house to be given to the poor free of cost was indra avas yojana was a scheme that was launched to provide free houses to the poor people eas stands for employment assurance scheme it was established as employment assurance because poverty can be removed only by providing more and more employment opportunities to the poor when poverty is taken in relative term and is related to the distribution of income consumption expenditure it is called when poverty is talked about in relative term it is relative poverty according to the planning commission how many how many average daily calories per person define the poverty line in urban areas i told you in urban areas it is less it is 2100 calories per day jgsy program of poverty alleviation was submerged into jawahar gram swarojgar yojana it was and it has been submerged into swan jayanti gram swarojgar yojana dash coefficient is used to measure income inequalities gini coefficient is used according to the planning commission how much average daily calories per person define the poverty lines in urban and rural areas the figure is in urban it is 2100 and in rural it is 2400 which of the following statement is correct the concept of absolute poverty is used for measuring poverty in india the concept of relative poverty is more relevant for the less developed countries no the concept of absolute poverty is more relevant for the developed countries no and none of the above so the concept of absolute poverty is used for measuring poverty in india the integrated rural development program or irdp as it is said started in which plan period the planning period it started in the fifth period it was only during the fifth plan that poverty alleviation was taken up seriously identify the correct statements the problem of unemployment and poverty are not interrelated is it true they are not interrelated no it is not true the problem of unemployment and poverty are related poverty can be removed only by providing employment to the people the birth rate in india is high because of low incidence of poverty poverty is the poverty incidence low in india no it is very high the problem of poverty has been solved in programs has it been solved no none of these so none of the statements are correct irdp and allied programs and million well schemes we have talked about this irdp and million well schemes it was integrated in 1909 and since then it has been known as wells it was about gram swan jayanti gram swarojgar yojana which of the following cannot remove poverty in india population control increase in production equitable distribution or government subsidies which of it cannot help government subsidies cannot help to remove poverty in india population control can help increase in production can help equitable distribution can help but government subsidies cannot help in removing poverty which of the po following poverty eradication scheme is presently operational in india manrega ajeevika swan jayanti shahri rozgar yojana all these programs are running in india to alleviate poverty tendulkar committee estimated poverty in india as 